All right, everybody, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, today I'm gonna be taking a hike into the wilderness, <laughs> the back of our property, and uh, go try to find my cameras and set them up back there again. Um, the snow has melted quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, because uh, it's been fairly warm. It's starting to get minus now again. Uh, so I'm hoping it's not too deep back there because the winds in some areas, like I've mentioned before in other videos, the wind blows the snow from this because it's so fluffy here usually, right? It's really light snow. Blows it and piles it up in certain areas, so it makes it really deep. So hopefully it's not too bad. But uh, so anyway, we'll go head back there. And uh, sorry for the, I don't know if you guys have saw this, but my solar panels, I obviously have not started to set up yet. And uh, there's some plowing debris around here, but... Uh, and some garbage over there, but we'll, we're getting it all sorted out. Uh, it's a lot of work doing this stuff. I don't know if you guys have, have farms on, like the viewers on here have farms, or my, our viewers for the channel, uh, but it's a lot of work, it's constant. Always something going on. Time to feed some treats to the chickens. A little, little out of breath. It's went all the way down the hill there. Change the camera. In the snow, completely out of shape. And there's the kitty, still around after its nine day hiatus. Hey, hey little man, yeah. You liking the warmth? Nice and warm out, isn't it? Yeah, nice and warm. Good boy, good boy. You just came out of your little uh, second home in the greenhouse, yes? All right, little man, I gotta start doing some stuff, okay? This is all for the pigs. I'll get the uh, chicken stuff in a sec here. Look at him. <laughs> all right, guys. Look at this dude. Fake yuck. Oh, that way, that way, that way. Here, over here. Fake all of you out so they don't crush you with the food. I'll get you some uh, scratch too, roosters. All right, the roosters are giving me crap. Audience, hello guys, waiting for me every day. <laughs> there you go, roosters. You guys are waiting for me too, aren't you? This is a local scratch we get from a local place that we're trying out. Looks much better, and it's actually two dollars cheaper. A bag. They're pretty good. There you go, guys. There you go. Hey, Howie. You have loop. You don't need to eat their scratch. Pigs. Oh, there's two of them, Jamie. Three of them. Three? Holy jeez. <laughs> Smart guys. Or girls, I should say. Well, I don't know. If... Yeah, I think they're all girls. You didn't care that we're here. are smart yeah you are all right guys we'll leave you alone to rob everybody else's hay all right little guy we've had this discussion <laughs> you have to move when we come down the driveway or down the path i know you don't like to move when i come up but you're gonna have to come on you <laughs> so like, i'm probably about eight feet away from him and uh, the car can get right up to him. Like, I've almost ran him over once or twice now because I don't see him because sometimes he runs out as we come up. But he is not scared of the car and uh, he's not overly scared of me. Like, I don't want to make him too comfortable with this, but yeah, that's a boy. Keep going. Or girl. It's probably a girl, actually. See, he's still trying to eat. Beautiful day today and it just got weird. Cloudy. Anyway, I always uh, have to try to shoo him away so I don't run him over. <laughs> Little bugger. It's on our way down to the uh, trails as you can tell here. All right about 100, 150 feet in and uh, we saw a moose hanging around here a little while ago. As you can tell it's been bedding recently because it's got hair and you know doing its business uh, there as well but that's pretty cool. Now there's his footprints I guess. 
Looks like he might have been laying up here a few times. There's an indent here from a while ago, of course, but pretty cool. That's fresh. So he could have, uh, he was definitely here the other day because we got him on the trail cams. And they seem to like to go through this stuff. They don't, well, things have been walking up and down here, but anyway, this is actually quite hard to walk through. So I'm hoping it gets th uh, thinner up here because this is up to my, halfway up to my knee, but it's just like some of it's icy and some of it's not. So you're like, you know, falling in, twisting your ankles and that. So hopefully it gets a little easier because uh, it's not fun to walk in yet. But I, if I remember correctly last year, when we came back here, it was the same thing. It was hard at the beginning and it got easier. All right, 25 more feet in <laughs> and it's starting to rain. I actually feel rain. First time we've had rain in months and months and months. This is typically it's been cold, but we've barely had snow for months too. Sorry, I thought I heard something here. Uh, yeah, so if it gets really bad, because I got my uh, protection with me, I don't want to get that soaking wet. If it gets bad, I'll turn around. If not, I will keep going. It's funny, because some of these moose tracks look like people's tracks because it dry, uh, melted a bit and made them look huge. Yeah, it's pretty big. Look at this area. Over there, just back there, huge prints, like humans, like me with my big boots on, but... Anyway, I better get moving here because it's starting to drizzle. At least I can get to the first camera. This is moose. See the hair? <sighs> Hopefully he's still not around. At least not close, anyway. He could be bedding in here anywhere. Come out running at me, it'd be fun. All right, I'll be back. So just down a little further, another a bedding spot for a moose and a big tree. It must have fallen at some point this year since I was up here last, or this winter, I should say. And this area is kind of a cool area. And I've showed this on some of my, I'm driving the tractor. It's like a little super highway for the animals, a coyote prints or something there. But I want to actually go down here before winter's over and walk down. Because you can get into the marsh area there, see? Anyway, the animals have made a pathway all up here. So it was quite the path. Sometimes you can see the moose down there too, especially this time of year. It's beautiful. You can right, see right through it, right? So anyway, moose hang around down there, come up here, deer, all that stuff from over there as well. Anyway, pretty cool. So let's keep going here. Stop raining again so I can relax a little bit. Yeah, tons of activity here from the moose. Uh, his hair must be rubbing on the branches or something. But I don't see big, big prints here. Interesting. It's definitely a moose, though. And there's his, you know, pee pee. <laughs> anyway. Uh, this is the hill that I come down on the tractor a lot. The camera's usually there. I don't see it standing up, so something knocked it over. It's probably buried, which hopefully it's not waterlogged. It's supposed to be waterproof, but I hope there's no damage. Anyway, this is so much wider. You can see, here, hold on. This is so much wider than um, the summer, like obviously because of growth and stuff, right? But this is actually quite slippery. Animals come up and down this a lot, wow. Anyway, uh, you can tell the moose and deer have been eating off, breaking off the branches and stuff. Eating the tips off of them, I think. Anyway, it's so much wider than when the tractor comes down here. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, there's lots of deer tracks. And those going that way. Wow, this is so much nicer to come down here. I forgot how open it is. I don't remember it being this, like, open. Like, last time I came down here in the winter last year. Like, this is incredibly open now. I'm going to have a hard time finding my camera. Uh-oh. Well guys, I've been kicking around for about half an hour. I'm sweating, uh, trying to find this camera. It is, uh, I can't see it. So, no idea where it'd be. I mean, the whole, this over here, I believe this is where it is, is where that tree I had to cut down across here. Now, the camera, this has been moved. So, I may dig a little bit there real quick. I doubt it's there because I always leave, camera here because animals come out of here and then they come from down there so it would have been in here somewhere 
This is the path, so it wouldn't be in there. Animal could have dragged it out of there, maybe, but I highly doubt that. So it's either deep down in there, and I can't get to it because it's frozen over or something, or somebody swiped it, because it is not here. So I'm gonna take a break from doing this, because I you think kicking through the snow, I'd come across, obviously, the camera, or the post, right, that it was connected to, but I can't find uh, either of these things. Either, either, either of them, obviously. So, the further I go back, that's the tree. The further I go back here, birds are flipping out. There's one up there. Oh, there's a couple of them up there. Um, the further I go back, the higher it gets, like a mound, and I wouldn't have put it up there. So, now it could be under all this, but like, I don't see it being all the way down to the ground. So yeah, I'm gonna have to just carry on for now. Either come back with a shovel later, or uh, check these a circle. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's a whole bunch of them. I can see, oh, I know whether after, after this. I've been digging up stuff. Anyway, so I'll come back. I'm gonna walk down there, because if I can't find that one, then somebody's been through our trails, uh, probably swiping the cameras. Uh, you know, that's just a guess, so I'm not saying that's happening, but. If they're gone, that's what's happened. And I will uh, I will have to use the uh, serial numbers and stuff to see if they've been activated because they can't really hide them. So anyway, I'm gonna go see if that one's there before it gets too dark. Sorry, I don't have anything here for you. Aw, oh, you were gonna come eating on my hand, weren't you? Look at the size of them though. It's hard to tell on camera, but boy, that's a big bird. Chucky, come here. Every time I try to get him to come over though, he's he, Always turns his back to me. How rude, Chuck. How rude. I thought there wasn't as many animals out this year. They've just been back here because look at this. This pathway goes there, right? They have their own pathway that goes out there. This is why I want to come out here in winter before we get the snowfall, just as it freezes and everything's dead, so I can walk through. Or just so we have a tiny bit of snow because then we can walk through all these places I can't get to normally. And uh, as you obviously can tell, that's where I came from. But this is a cross section. Look at all the paths. Moose poop. Moose laying around or sniffling around. Probably looks like it was laying there. Through here. And this is a, this is a, if you look at my videos where I'm doing the trails for the tractor and mowing and stuff. This is the part with the really long or tall grass. So uh, they have bed, they bed down through here all the time in the summer. So, um, Probably very similar in the winter. It's tons and tons of prints, so I'm amazed. We've got to get more trail camps for this area, for sure. Another thing I'm looking for, too, is uh, this just reminded me, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about here, but I'm looking for uh, antlers because we've had, uh, again, if I think it was in the last video or one of the last videos, um, I had. Uh, Three male moose, same as the year before, but they're young, so the antlers are like really tiny at this time or earlier in the year and riding season. Uh, but this year they're back and they got bigger antlers. Anyway, I'm looking for, well, Jamie's looking for antlers because, uh, and I think it'd be cool to find as well, I'm not gonna lie. But this proves that they were here running. Now, just trying to see the antlers in the snow here would probably be very difficult. But it was starting to snow when we saw them on the trail cam, so I might be able to find them here. You can see they were rutting here, big time. So I don't know if they do that when they're shedding their antlers too, if they rub. I have to look it up. But if they're rubbing their antlers off here, this could be deer too, right? Um, either male uh, deer or uh, male moose uh, antlers would be awesome. Either one, we're not too picky. This is so cool at, at this time of year. This one, like I said before in one of my other videos, this is the awesome thing about snow. Uh, I don't love snow otherwise, really. I'm not the type to go and, you know, tobogganing or skiing or anything. Never been skiing in my life. I would like to try that one day though, actually, but uh, it's just not my thing. But I love it for tracking animals. And uh, look at them. Like you can see everything that's been around. So this is cool. Anyway, hopefully I find uh, antlers. They're probably more in the spring. When the snow melts, we'll have a better chance at that.
And another thing I noticed, and some of you who are more wildlife savvy in terms of hiking and things like that, um, you may have noticed this already, but I'll play the clip of the bobcat again in this, like right after this section. And um, you can see it steps in the footprints of other animals. It doesn't make its own new footprints. So it's probably a scent thing and a, a tracking thing. So it walks with where the other, like I think it was a coyote track there. It walks where they walked for stalking and stuff, I'm assuming. And uh, just being hidden from other pr predators. Really smart. All right, I'm up to the other cam now. Looks like they've been snooping around it, knocking it around as usual. Anyway, I'm gonna mount this to a tree. Now, I'm probably gonna mount it to that tree. I kinda wanna put it on a height that is like, the moose will be able to get it, freaking even up there. I mean, it's eight, nine feet up, they'll be able to get it. But if I put it like here and point it downwards, a couple more feet higher than that, uh, coyotes won't be able to get it. Uh, bears could get it if they climb the tree, but most of them won't bother. Um, so if I put it there, the moose will be able to nudge it and stuff, and if they want to, they'll be able to break it off. But I think that's a good spot, because they probably won't try as hard up there. And I noticed that the little moose are the ones that cause the most damage, so... Because they're almost curious, they come rampaging it, like run at it and stuff. Again, look back at some of my old videos. Uh, I can try to put uh, a clip of that in here too, one of the babies rampaging one of these things. It's kind of funny. All right, as usual. Weather changes on dime here. Bright blue skies. <laughs> I had about, uh, what, 30 drops of rain that I felt anyway uh, on me. But uh, now it's clear and blue so skies. So anyway, okay, I got that up. It's on a bit of an angle, which is okay. I'm not worried about that too much. I'll redo it next time I come out. Uh, I didn't realize it was in a dip. And then when it grabs on, the stand grabs onto the tree, it slid in a little bit, but that's okay. I gotta get going. I had a problem with the SD cards again, so I gotta find out why. I'm formatting them the correct way, so I'm not sure why they're having issues. Okay, well, I can make my way up there and around and up and over back to the front of the property. Well, the trailhead, anyway. Or I can go down here. Well, I'm gonna go down here and to use, you can tell, fairly well used. But anyway, I'm gonna go back down here because I'm gonna take one more, one more stab at trying to find that camera. Because that would make me very happy if I could find it, but it's weird I was gone. Anyway, so I'll head back down this way. I think this one connects with the other one. Thank goodness I I know these trails pretty well from the summer because otherwise I get lost in here pretty easy. All right, guys, sweating again. I've been uh, digging through there for about another 15, 20 minutes, and uh, I can't find the camera. So. Either I put it somewhere else and don't remember, or I'm not in the exact spot, which is hard to miss. Just down the hill, the tree stump was here. It'd be in here somewhere, for sure. Um, so yeah, either somebody came through here early in the season and took it, or I can't see their prints, or they're, you know, melted away, um, or it's somewhere under there. I mean, I just don't know where. So yeah, unless it's just like further out here, somehow it got dragged out, or it's literally a nice ball under something that I can't kick and free up. But like, the whole bar would have to be hidden too. That's the thing, right? The whole post that it was connected to. So, I don't know guys. Like, it should be here, but I'm gonna have to come down here as soon as it starts to melt before stuff grows in because uh, I don't wanna lose that camera. Okay, so I'm out of breath from kicking snow around. So that'll end the video here today, guys. Uh, trail cams at the end. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you soon.